Hey everyone, <clears throat> I'm JJ. Um, in this video, I want to show you a magical little method that I use and that you can use too for um, creating hiking routes and trail running routes. Um, so the website that I use is called nacart.me and with this website, you can do lots of really, really cool things. Um, run, like trail running, cycling, if that's what you're into, uh, hiking, and uh, using these routes to navigate uh, when you're out there. Uh, having these routes put on your phone so that you can use them and you don't get lost. Um, because Google Maps just does not cut it uh, when you're on a trail. I've already, I'm already, um, I've already got the website open, but I'll type it in again called nacart.me. So go to nacart.me, and now I've lost where I'm at, but that's okay. <clears throat> uh, to show you how to make a trail, we're going to go to a place that probably a lot of you in Taiwan have been to, uh, Yao Beach. And what you might not have known, though, is that there are some epic trails right behind Yao Station. So you see as I pan out here that there is like a uh, just a whole world of trails right behind Yao Station. And actually, maybe some of you have been to Drifter's Bar. Um, right there behind Drifter's Bar is tons of amazing trails. Uh, one of the key features of this website that I find to be super, super helpful is that you can layer on Strava heat maps. You can also layer, uh, uh, use the Google map layer. So this way it's easier to see reference points. Um, and can, on the open street map layer, you can see lots of trails, but not these trails aren't always usable. So this is where this Strava heat map layer comes in real, like super, super handy. How to enable that into your sidebar is you go to settings and scroll down, select Strava heat maps. My, my face is in the way right now. Select Strava heat maps. Mine is already selected. Click OK, and then you're good to go. So Strava heat maps is now an option in the sidebar on NACART. And now let's make a trail. So we're at YL Station. I'm going to create a new trail. So to create a new trail, you click New Track. I will name this YL Trail. All right. Um, let's make a point, starting point. YL Start. Okay, I don't know why it's not showing up. It should show up, but it's not. But that's okay. Anyway, let's just let's just make this quick trail. And to know that this trail is used, that people actually use this trail, I'm going to layer on Strava heat maps. This is the magical little one magical little feature of Nacart, where you know that the route that you're creating is good, is good to go. The heavier that yellow, the, the, the heavier the traffic is there, and the even more uh, assured you, you can be that, um, that people have hiked that trail before. And again, you know that this, this route will be good because the Strava heat map shows you that people have done this before. So we've got a little 7.8 kilometer loop made here. Uh, you can see that the heat maps extend pretty far and you could make like some, you could make a pretty big trail run if you wanted to. And there are some big trail runs in that area. There's like some 100Ks and stuff, I think. Um, but how to use this route that you, how to use this route that you just made, you go 
File, Save as KML. All right, then you email the KML file to yourself. Send it to myself. From there, after you've emailed yourself the KML file, you need to download an app called maps.me, M-A-P-S dot M-E. From there, you open up the email on your phone that you sent to yourself, and there's a little, there's an icon, open with icon at the top right. Open with, select maps.me, and the trail that you made will now uh, show up in your books bookmarks on maps.me. And I'll show you a little screen recording of me opening up this trail that we just made um, on, on my phone. If you're in Taiwan, you might have heard of Beast Runners before. They make sweet ass trails. So, um, say you'd like to run one of those routes. They have their routes posted, their GPX and KML files on their website. Um, so, for so I have the um, seventy-five kilometer Formosa Trail. KML file, and I've downloaded that. Now, all you need to do is drag that KML file. Oopsie daisy. Carefully drag that KML file into this search box where this search box here in NACART, and boom, you have got your. Formosa Trail 75 kilometer route right there. And I think I've already got one, so I'll delete the second one. And you can take a look at uh, the elevation profile, see like what, what kind of beast that trail is going to be. And you can see it's a freaking beast. Uh, 75.3 kilometers, 5,244 meters ascent. It's a monster. You can now see what it looks like. Save it as a KML, and using maps.me, you open the, the KML from your email with maps.me, and it's on your maps.me app, and you can then navigate the route using that app uh, when you go out to Puli and, and run the trail. Another cool way to use NACART is um, you can copy other people's activities. So, for example, this is a trail that I ran um, last week in Kenting. A sweet little 25 kilometer, no, I guess it's not very little, sweet 25 kilometer trail run in Kenting. So if you have a friend that does trails, um, and you see a run that they've done, and you'd like to do it too, with NACART, using NACART, all you need to do is copy the URL and paste it into this search box in NACART. And it, boom, it's there. It's now a route. You can check it out. You can see what it looks like. Uh, and then you can save it as a KML file, email it to yourself, open it on maps.me, and you can go to Kenting, and from Nanwan, South Beach, you can navigate the route yourself. It was an awesome run. Beautiful. We saw bulls, saw bulls, deer, I think we saw a wild boar. We can make one more, uh, one more trail together. So, Ali Shan. Ali Shan has tons of trails, but you might be you might be like I was before and be like, okay, there's tons of trails. Like, 
which ones to do. I want to I want to do a like a beast or I want to do a short one or you know, if you don't if you don't want to just have to follow signs, but rather know um what you're getting into, then make your route beforehand using NACAR. So here, you open it up in maps. You're you're in the Alishan area, and all you need to do is uh, put a pin in the general area so that you can get the GPS coordinates that come up. Select the GPS coordinates, copy and paste them. All right, and now we're in we're in Alishan. Strava heat map sometimes makes things confusing, so you unselect it if you need to, so that you can get a better idea of where you're at. And now, let's do the Google map layer on the right side, so that we can see where some trails are. All right, so look here. There's there's a bunch of trails here, and you could probably like connect them and make one really cool trail or you could do a short what short long whatever you like but there's lots and lots of trails here so let's just select the starting point near the road and so we're going to make a new route and we'll call it alishan trail we will start here where the little trail starts and let's do Strava heat map to make sure that people actually use these. Oh, look. Mm, yeah, okay. This way, not so much. I would not be super confident in that trail being usable. So we'll go on the little, the darker route. There. And back to the start. So we've got our route, we can take the Strava heat map off. We see that we are doing some road, some trail, 13 kilometers. Uh, you could do more trail, less trail, however you want. Um, but once, once you've made your route, save it as a KML, email it to yourself, open it on, on maps.me, and you've got your, your route that you can navigate now, that you've made. This method, is the best, it's magical. I hope that it, it helps you as much as it's helped me. Um, I, I'll put the link for that Kenting trail that I ran in the video description. But yeah, nakard.me, the best for creating hikes and trail running routes. Um, go, find, uh, go find some adventure near you. Have fun with it. See you later.